What's up guys, welcome back. Now you may have seen a similar recipe to this on my channel already. I have a shrimp and lobster garlic noodle recipe. But after a recent trip to San Francisco, I realized that my recipe is not quite authentic enough. So today we're gonna try to make a more authentic version. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we're getting started on the garlic. So we're gonna dice up some fresh garlic and I'm gonna amplify the flavor a bit with some roasted garlic. Just gonna chop the end off like so. We'll keep that though. Nothing goes to waste. We're gonna throw that on some foil. Hit it with some oil and a little AP seasoning. Get that in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. You're gonna have some perfect roasted garlic. It's gonna complement these garlic noodles nicely. Next up, we're gonna to get to work on our shrimp. We have some large peeled and deveined shrimp that we've gone ahead and defrosted, cleaned up, and dried. We're gonna season that with my all-purpose seasoning, or you can hit it with a little salt and pepper. Keep in mind, guys, you wanna go with something that's a little bit lower on the sodium side of things because the sauce that we're using has quite a bit of things that are packed with sodium, like the oyster sauce, the soy sauce, things of that nature. So, low sodium all-purpose, just to cover our bases. That's what we're looking like. We're gonna go ahead and get this out of the way and get that in a skillet here momentarily. What I like about this, guys, is it's not a whole lot of prep work. We're gonna use the white and the green from the green onions. Equal opportunity onion eater. So we're just gonna go ahead and give this a rough chop. This goes really well with the recipe, but you can also use a yellow or a white onion if you want to. But you probably got some green onions that are about to go bad in the fridge, so go ahead and break those out. This is another one of those recipes gonna be on the table in 20, 30 minutes. Really can't beat it. Always salt your pasta water, get that pasta boiling al dente. Chop your green onions and your garlic like we've gone ahead and done here. Our roasted garlic is finished as well. That's really the bulk of the prep work right there. All right guys, so in the skillet, we're gonna melt about a tablespoon or two of butter and get the party started with our shrimp. You can do this with crab, you can do this straight. These noodles are great by themselves as well. So if you wanna serve them as a side dish, they're fantastic without any protein. But to make a meal out of it, we're gonna add some shrimp today. In San Francisco, very popular with Dungeness crab. So really whatever floats your boat, Get these shrimp in there with some butter, because butter makes everything better. And we're just gonna get some nice color on the shrimp on both sides. All right guys, we got our skillet over medium heat with some avocado oil or olive oil. We're going in with our roasted garlic. We're just gonna take our spatula and kind of smash that garlic down. Then we're coming with our fresh garlic. Remember it's called garlic noodles for a reason. Might not be the best date night dish. Unless y'all been together for a while then who cares, right? A little Listerine strips or something. All jokes aside, this recipe is phenomenal. Very popular in the Bay Area, so shout out to the Bay Area. One of my favorite things to eat, honestly. We're gonna go ahead and toast that. And then in comes the green onions. The whites and the green. Medium to medium low heat. We don't wanna burn the garlic just until you can start smelling it, which pretty much immediately. So next up we're going in with one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Doesn't taste like oysters guys, just for those of you that may be wondering. We're also gonna go in with about a quarter cup of soy sauce, preferably low sodium. I'm gonna add a little chicken bouillon powder for the MSG factor. A 
a little sesame oil. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below so don't forget to check that out. Also going to add just a pinch of red pepper flakes because why the hell not we're here for a good time not a long time. Give that all a good mix. And one other quick pro tip guys is to reserve a little bit of your pasta water, about a quarter cup of that up to a half cup, depending on how much you're making. And that's gonna be used to thin the sauce out a little bit once we toss the noodles in there. So once your noodles are al dente, we're gonna add them to the sauce. Give them a good toss in that sauce. Go in with that pasta water, bring everything together. Oh man, it smells good. Then one thing that seems a little odd, but you gotta trust me, is the Parmesan cheese. That really ties everything together. Whatever chef was smoking when he came up with this one out in San Francisco, I appreciate him. Because this is one of my favorite dishes right here. If you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. We're going to add our shrimp and any accumulated juices because no flavor left behind. And we're just going to toss everything together. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and plate this up family style, just like they do at Than Long, which is my go-to spot out in San Francisco. We're gonna hit it with a little Parmesan cheese on top, some red pepper flakes, and some chives or green onion, whatever you got. This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys, looking good. The only thing left to do, my friends, is dig in for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, we're about to get in here for the taste test. The original recipe that I posted on the channel with the shrimp and the lobster is fantastic also, but it's not quite traditional. I realized that when I was just out in San Francisco, the traditional version is much drier like this one, more garlic forward. Mine's a little bit saucier. I use bucatini noodles, had my own spin on it, but this is a little bit more traditional. So we're gonna get in here for the taste test. That is what you want to see right there. A little twirl action, big bite, but hey, what the hell. The flavor is crazy. You guys got to try this one. 